call from Poor Tree down at the harbour. Later on, I'll have a look over there at the lump. That's where we'll go later. But first, let's head to Uig and see what's there. Oh, here we are in Uig at the bus terminal point there. The 57 goes from Uig to Poor Tree. Uh, there's 57A and the 57B. One goes one way around the island and the other goes the other way. Let's have a look around Uig. There's not much here. There's a map here of the Isle of Skye and we'll, we'll see the route that we took from Poor Tree. We took this road on the 57A which goes up to the very top, the furthest away point of the Isle of Skye, around the very scenic areas. And we're now in Uig. You can catch the ferry to different places such as Loch and Tarbert out in the um, Hebrides. When we go back, we come down this road back to Portree. Now, on another part of the Isle of Skye, there is Dungaven. There's plenty of places to see in Dungaven. There's a castle and a nice walk. But for us now in Uig, there's, there's a, a footpath that we can take that might be of interest to some. So we'll go and have a look at that. We have here a cafe just across the road from the harbour and a footpath that goes up here. Let's see where this footpath goes. I'm just a few minutes up this footpath and what a surprise, sheep. Not many of them around here, is there? Uh, we're starting to have a, a, a good view already. Uh, some of you like. Um, I think over there might be the Hebrides. Not sure. Uh, we'll, go, we'll keep going up here, see what there is to see. Got a wee boat coming into the harbour. A nice view up here, right out to the faraway islands. Blackbirds singing away up there. Citylink comes here from Glasgow. Not that there's much to see if you like walks and scenic bus journeys, then this might be the place for you. So we've got the Hebrides there, and beyond the Hebrides is the Faroe Islands. So we are quite a bit up here. These camping pods are interesting. You can hire them out for a day or two. Bring your own bed. Bring your own food. And you got a great 
here, if you. It appears that there's not much room for that bus, wherever it's from. And that they'll have a good view way up there. Let's look at what they can see well. Not much from here. Uh, um, uh, nice coach, wherever it's come from, wherever it's going. Let's continue up here. Now, over there, that's Glen Kinnon. And you get the river and then through there. We might have a look over there later on. That's Glen Kinnon, that looks a nice walk up there. We'll be looking back over this way. So we're up at the end of the footpath. Be careful on this bend. The nice view up here, and you'll go and see where you know, that river goes now. We're now down at the little river. There isn't a footpath that goes along it, so this will have to do. Some, uh, some, some nice scenery. This must be Ewig's version of Greyfriars Bobby. Hope you enjoyed that little visit to Ewig. I'll head back to Portree now at the bus stop waiting on the bus back. The cafe around the corner has uh, all day breakfast, served all day it says on the sign. Went and asked for the all day breakfast, it's oh we stopped serving it now. So why does it say served all day? That's why I want to know. But apart from that there's some good food in there and there's also a restaurant with a snooker table way over there. That's it from Ewig. Well, that's us back in Portree. We'll have a look down here to see if we can get something to eat. Then we'll go and explore the lump. We're now on the footpath that takes us to the lump. There's some safety notices here. Keep to the footpath and steps. Beware of fallen rocks. Do not climb on sitting fence, do not climb on trees, do not climb rock face. So, is there anything we are allowed to do? Now well, let's have a walk up here and see how dangerous it is. The view from the lump. Some very noisy crows up there. The lump wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. So let's have a look at the harbour. Here's the harbour in Poor Tree. You can take boat trips out to the islands. And there's a boat that looks like it's on its side. Let's go and take a closer look. Now 
there's a cuckoo up there in those trees. Now, poor tree cuckoo. And poor tree square, where the buses leave from. Here is the old Captain Guest House. Now, it's called so because the man who owns this place is harbour master at Uig Pier. <laughs>